Hello there, I'm Dave Allen, I'm good and geeky. I have been asked by somebody if it's possible to put a warp onto bitmap images in Affinity Designer, and this is what I found out. So here we are in Affinity Designer 2, and I've got a bitmap in there. Let's get that bitmap, and also I've got a rectangle in there. And what I want to do with this here is I want to take this and I want to put a warp on it. Let's go to the warp tool down here, and we'll put perspective on there. If I take this here and move that up there, I'm changing the shape of the bitmap. Hold down the shift key, keeping the straight line, except it's not keeping the straight line. But anyway, I'll put that up there so that's uh, up there. And we've got perspective coming down here. And do you know what? We haven't got any perspective happening to the bitmap underneath. We've only got a rectangle around the outside of it, which is actually changing the shape. Now it gets even weirder than that. If I go down to this bottom part here and I extend this out and bring this out that way, Let's go a bit closer. You see all it's done here is actually sort of bring these colours out here from the edges. And again, it hasn't changed the perspective of the design in there, the, the, the bitmap. So we're going to have to do something about this. The only way they're going to be able to do this is to use Affinity Photo. They do work well together, so it's quite a possibility, no problem. Let's do some Command Z on this here to get back to where we were. So now I'm back where we started again. So let's get the Move tool and move things around. Just make this a bit smaller first of all. So I can see my rectangle underneath and I'm going to put a warp onto this here and we're going to go for a perspective warp. So let's get the perspective warp from down here. Click on that there and I'm going to click on this here. Get the perspective shape that I want. Obviously this is whatever you need to fit in with the rest of your design. There's nothing else on this design here so there's nothing there. But anyway you change this as you need to. And I've got the perspective shape as I needed. So now I'm going to get this here and I'm going to put it here so that it lines up more or less with the top of that there. So I'm going to bring down the bottom of this here and make it so that it's about the right width as well. About that, that'll do. Okay, so now what I have to do is I need to go to File Menu and go to Edit in Photo. Here we are in Photo now. And what I want to do now is I want to put some perspective onto this bitmap. So I'm going to get this tool here first of all. I've got the bitmap selected and I'm going to go to Layer and I'm going to go to Live Filter Layer, and we're going to go to Distort, and then I'm going to go to Perspective. Okay, so I've got my Perspective tool there going, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring this down here, and put it so it's about the right place there. And then I'm going to get this here, and put it so it's about the right place on this corner here. And then go down to the bottom here, and do the same here. Okay, so let's zoom in closer to this here, and get it exactly right. So I'm going to put it so it's across the top of that one there, so that's about there, that's good. Okay, so here at the top left hand corner, and then I'm going to put that so that it's in the right place as well. And put it so that it's right on top of that there. Okay, that's good. Let's zoom out of this here a little bit, go over to this other corner. Top right hand corner, and I'm going to put this in the right place as well now. Put that over there. Down to the bottom. Get this one here, this corner, and move that so that it's in the right place too. Job done. Okay, so now what I can do is I can go back to this file menu here, go to uh, Edit in Designer, and I have the perspective on the bitmap as required. It is a shame it's not possible to do that directly in Designer without having to resort to going into a photo, but the two apps do work well together, and if you've got both of them, why not? It doesn't really make a lot of difference. Go for it. If you haven't already, do a subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified when there's new tutorials coming your way. Put a like on it now so it helps with the algorithm and helps other people find these tutorials. I'm Dave Allen. I'm good and geeky. Bye bye now.